Hello everyone, my name is Brandon Griffin. I'm a PhD candidate in business who's gonna be graduating soon, and I just got my first job as an assistant professor of management at a business school. I did it, I survived my PhD. I'm gonna, I'm gonna graduate soon, it's gonna be great. But since I'll be completing my dissertation soon, I wanted to reflect on my journey and give some advice on how to get into a PhD program. Here are five things I recommend if you're trying to get into a doctoral degree program, and the last one was especially relevant to me. One, you need to understand what you're getting into. Two, you need to dive into research now. Find out what and who interests you. Three, you need to show that you are serious. This includes publications and the GRE and GMAT. Four, figure out your personal life. That is a big and often overlooked one. And five, apply anyways, even if you are not perfect. Just for a little context, my field is management and leadership. However, most of the comments I'm gonna say should apply across most disciplines, especially social science. So number one, you need to understand what you're getting into. Are you about to finish your bachelor's or your master's and you don't really have a clue of what you wanna do in your life? Why not just continue on to school and get a PhD? I've heard this from a lot of people and that honestly is one of the worst reasons to do a PhD. A PhD takes a lot of time, effort, and honestly money to get into. So you have to understand what it is. A PhD or a doctorate of philosophy is a degree that is focused on research, 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 research. From day one, you'll be learning research methods, statistics, and the literature. You'll be expected to write papers, come up with proposals, and help with projects. A PhD is about research. Even if your dream is to be a teacher or instructor, you do have to do a lot of research in your PhD. It is a research-driven degree. And additionally, you have to create knowledge, which can be challenging. Even if you're an amazing student and you have a 4.0, you never struggled with your grades, learning how to do research is like learning a new language. You are learning the language of research, and it can be very difficult for some people. You need to examine actually what you're getting into. What are the time requirements? What schools offer your program? Is there financial support? Or are you gonna have to take out loans or figure something else out? What are the job prospects after the program? Do you want to stay in academia or do you wanna go into industry? It is important to understand what you're getting into before the process of applying because applying can be a big, long and expensive process. So since a PhD is all about research and learning how to solve problems and think critically, start now. If you're in your undergrad or master's, talk to your professors, ask if you can help with projects, have them tell you what they're working on, because all tenure track faculty typically have some type of research requirement. Now this is gonna vary by school, but start now, see what people in your department or even you know your, your college or your, your university are working on. And even if you can't be a co-author on a study, you can still learn a great amount about the research process and you can put that on your resume or CV. Try and understand what the different steps are in academic uh, research, from literature review, to hypothesis generation, to study design, to getting the IRB and human subjects approvals. Try to understand what it's all like. How are you gonna write grants? How are you gonna carry out a study? See if you can help with any one of these portions and kind of understand the rules of the game. Learn the different rankings of journals. Understand the difference between an R1 and an R2 institution, or maybe a institution that's more teaching focused and doesn't really have a research designation from the Carnegie classifications. Going into a PhD program, understanding how the rules of the game work can help you get off to a great start once you're in the PhD program and during your application and interview process. Three, you need to show that you are serious about the PhD program. Getting into a PhD and doing a PhD isn't just something you can do on the weekends or something you know you can do in the evenings, typically. Most PhD programs are going to be full-time and research intensive. So most doctoral programs receive tens, if not hundreds of applications every year or whenever there are open cohorts. And they typically only accept a few students per cohort. So that means it's very competitive. So showing you're serious about the PhD means getting involved with research, reading up on the top theories of the discipline, and perhaps even taking extra classes. I was doing my MBA, my master's, and I did extra classes. I actually went to a different department into a, an entirely different school in the university and I took a bunch of extra stats classes. I tried to learn some of the software tools like R or SPSS, 
and I really tried to beef up some of the parts of my resume and CV that weren't as good. One of the best ways to set yourself apart, or at least not drag you down, is to do well on your entrance exams. In business, it is the GMAT. For other programs, it is the GRE. And by meeting the minimum criteria for entry, you can let the other areas of your application shine and let your committee know that you have the intellectual foundation to be able to do great work. And four, if you have a specific set of schools you wish to get into, reach out to them. Reach out to the people there. Ask how you can make yourself a good candidate and how you can get admitted. As hard as it may be, networking and putting yourself out there can make all the difference in your getting accepted and application. And this is something that I learned. You may think that you're being annoying by emailing a professor, but if you are sincere and say, hey, I'm interested in your work, I'm interested in getting into this PhD program and really personalize it to them and be sincere, that's part of their job and they're not going to find it annoying. And they may even find it refreshing to see someone who's motivated about what they're interested in because they love what they're doing. Well, I don't know if they love it, but they at least are doing the work and hopefully they're loving it. You know, you finding an interest in their work is something that they will probably value and highly, highly respect. Number four, you need to figure out your personal life. This one is very important and sometimes overlooked. But where are the universities that have your program that you're applying to? Is it in your hometown or is it on the other side of the country? Or for many people, it could possibly be on the other side of the world. How will you pay for school? What about your dog? What about your significant other? What about your family? What about your parents? What about your brothers and sisters? Can you handle living 3,000 miles away from home? To thrive in a PhD program, you need to have a healthy personal life. There's kind of the joke that you're constantly working and you're constantly just, you know, on the run basically during a PhD program. And that can be true. But what are you going to do during your off hours? How are you going to try to have you know, work-life balance, which is something that I research, but how are you going to have work-life balance? How are you going to handle downtime? Are you going to be okay? Are you going to be able to take care of yourself physically and emotionally? How are you going to make friends? How are you going to do all these things? And that's something that's very important. And, you know, it might not show up on your application, but it can help you if you're going to be confident about where you're going. You also want to figure out what are the requirements of the program? Do they expect you to be at the school every day? Are you going to teach starting out your first semester? Are you going to be a TA? Or can you work from home? You need to make sure that your life won't fall apart just because of the degree. For me, I had a very hard time transitioning into my PhD program. I had lived away from home, but it was just a whole new set of circumstances it was a lot of change and it was a very difficult first year for me and luckily I had a good support system. I had a wonderful church. I had my wonderful wife and you know we ended up getting a dog which helped a little bit but I was able to survive and it can be a big shock for a lot of people. So how will you handle your personal life when you apply and get into a PhD program? And the fifth one, apply anyways even if you aren't perfect. If your GPA isn't that great, apply anyways. If you don't have any research experience, but you're really interested, apply anyways. If your GRE or GMAT is below the minimum that's on the website, apply anyways. Here's my experience. My GPA was good. I had a business degree for my bachelor's and I had an MBA in finance and I knew what I was getting into. So my grades were good and my research experience was good. I knew the difference between an A plus journal and a C journal and I kind of knew what the requirements were. I had talked with a lot of people, I'd read a lot of things, and I knew I wanted to get my PhD. I knew I wanted to stay in academia and do research and teach people and become a professor. But I could not score well on the GMAT. I really, really struggled. I took the initial pre-assessment, not pre-assessment, but I took the initial GMAT getting into my MBA and it wasn't very good. And I spent basically a whole summer just diving into the GMAT prep, spending a lot of money, taking the test multiple times. And my score went up, but it really, really was low. And for some schools, it was even below their minimum. So I basically looked far and wide for PhD programs that would be good for me and a good fit for me. And I applied to them. And I thought I wasn't going to get into any PhD programs, but I had one school that was really on my mind that I really wanted to get into, and they actually ended up offering me. And after I accepted, I actually had four or five other schools that were interested in me, even though I thought my application was horrible. So the moral of that story is apply to PhD programs, even if you don't think you're qualified or even if you're below the minimums, because if you're serious, people can tell that and 
you know, they may see past some of your imperfections. So let's review. One, you need to understand what you're getting into. Two, dive into research now, because that's what a PhD is. Three, show that you're serious and prepare. Four, figure out your personal life. And five, apply anyways, even if you aren't perfect. There are a couple other things I want to mention. Research the schools that you're getting into, because the programs are going to differ between each school. Is one more focused maybe on experimental research? Is one more focused on observational research? How do the cultures differ? Do they expect you to be at the school in a suit every day? Or is it a little bit more relaxed? And just really talk to the professors and talk to the students and see if you will be a good fit with the culture of the university. Because yes, it depends on grades and it depends on GPA, but you're also going to be working with these people. You're gonna be their colleagues in a sense with these professors. You're gonna be working with them. You're gonna be the TAs. You're gonna be teaching the students and you're really gonna be rubbing shoulders with some of these great professors. So you wanna make sure that the culture matches with who you are and you know what you wanna do. The PhD has been some of the best and hardest years of my life. I got married right before my PhD. I had a child and I have been so happy even through the blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> I've, I've enjoyed it, even though it's been hard. The work is hard, but it's rewarding. You got this. You really do. You can do hard things, even if they seem impossible. You got this. Apply, and you'll do great things. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment any questions you have and subscribe. And as always, have a great day and happy learning.